Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo uh, for January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. Um, and then we will finish off with the uh, possible outcome and advice. Uh, keep in mind that you can switch the roles if you want to apply this to your own unique situation. Um, also keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, Let's see uh, what else. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, uh, Virgo, uh, let's get started. Over energies for Virgo. What is surrounding Virgo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for January 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Queen of Wands that jumped out. Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So someone here could be approaching somebody. You could be approaching somebody. Someone here could be approaching you in regards to an offer here, uh, perhaps even an apology. But uh, let's just see. Um, yeah, an apology. We have someone here that regrets causing a major blow up between you and them. Um, so we have Aries energy and Scorpio energy here with the tower. Could be dealing with any of those energies. Or you can have those energies in your chart. Strong Scorpio and uh, Aries energy here. We have the Nine of Wands here and the Four of Wands. So I feel like you're tired of someone here not being able to make a decision. Or, you know, maybe you're tired that you're unable to make a decision here. Or, you know, knowing which way to go. We have the Knight of Swords here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So expect someone to rush towards someone with an apology or something like that, or maybe an offer. Yeah, definitely there's some sort of conflict here with the king. So I don't know, this person might be pissed off here. Maybe perhaps pissed off at this queen for causing a major tower moment. Because whoever this is, I mean, someone here is feeling unfulfilled. Someone here is feeling sad, regretful, disappointed. Disappointed that, you know, that someone here has gone through this over and over and over and over again. And we have someone here that's still undecided whether they want to be with you or not. Or it could be other, the other way around. Like I said, switch the roles if you want. All right, let's see what we have here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups here? Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups and the Moon. Okay. So we can have someone here who's approaching you. Like I said, you could switch the roles if you want, but... We have a queen here that's trying to approach somebody to express their uh, deepest hidden emotions that they've never expressed before. So you could have been dealing with someone that disappointed you because they kept you waiting, kept you waiting, and perhaps you got tired of waiting. Uh, Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups here again. More water energy. Someone here has heavy water energy in their chart, either Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Tell me about the tower here. The Five of Swords. Yeah, so something. and So it, it was sort of like a game. Maybe this back and forth. And I just feel like someone here got tired of it. 
And you know, someone here got tired of it. Uh, five of Cups. We have the Sun. Leo energy. Could be dealing with the Leo here. I feel like with the sun here, someone here is finally realizing that this is always going to be a game and this is not going to change. Yeah. All right. Nine of Wands. We have the Fool here. Yeah. So Aries, score, uh, Aries and Aquarius energy. Um, we have someone here that's tired. Tired of the um, games. Tired of someone here being non-committal. Someone here waiting around for someone to finally commit here. Um, I do feel like we might have someone here that's maybe finally realizing that they want you. Um, like I said, uh, this person has a lot to say, and I just feel like this person has a set, said it before, but once you left the building, I feel like this is when this, this person's like, okay, my God, I gotta say something now. I cannot let this, um, like I can't live with myself if I don't say it or something like that. Uh, we have the Empress here. So Libra, Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. You might have Libra or a Taurus in your chart. So this energy has been stagnant. So we have a queen here that's going from, from a queen to an empress. Someone here might, like, is this in this energy of maturing and realizing and growing here and taking some sort of action here towards this king. And multiple kings here, by the way. So we have that king of wands and the queen of wands. Yeah, we have this king showing up again, king of cups. So like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reverse. Let's see what else we have here. All right. Uh, tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for uh, January 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Virgo need to know? What can Virgo expect regarding um, their love situation? Regarding love, what are their true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Temperance and the Eight of Cups. You know, I'm feeling like this is more your energy right here because like I said, like I was saying, I feel like you're this king here. I feel like you might peacefully walk away from this. Yeah, so Temperance, Sagittarius energy could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You might have Sagittarius in your chart. We have temp, uh, we have the high, uh, we have the hangman here and the high priestess. You know, I feel like we have someone here that's really looking deep within, really looking deep within whether to take this leap here to peacefully walk away from this. So I'm feeling like we have some here that's going to walk away that, will, that won't even say anything. That won't even say anything. Five of Pentacles here. This is in the reverse, by the way. I'm feeling like this is the king's energy. I just feel like this king does not want to feel alone anymore. Yeah, just does not want to feel alone, just does not want to feel uh, insecure. And, you know, I just feel like this king does not want to hold on to something that's not going to work out. Or that this king does not want to hold on to someone that is unsure of them. Yeah, unsure. Just, we have a king here that's tired of being heartbroken. Tired of this not coming together. And tired of just like, you know, thinking about it and, you know, and just, you know, not, basically not materializing. So, let's see what else we have here. You know, this queen could be dealing with third parties here too. Maybe there are other people involved. It seems like you're dealing with a low vibing queen of wands slash empress. Tell me about temperance. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Temperance in the hangman. It's like you're taking a step back. I mean, if this person's talking to you or anything like that, even peripherally, like you're making this person wait too. Eight of Cups. You know, I feel like you're really patient, uh, Virgo, with this person, but 
I just feel like you're out of patience and I just feel like you're just, like I said, quietly and peacefully walking away from this because this is what you wanted. Uh, this is what you dreamed of. Could be dealing with the twin flame here. Um, Hangman, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, High Priestess, Six of Wands. I just feel like you're... I feel like there's this inner knowing that you know that you might be dealing with someone here who feels like they're right all the time uh, and, you know, and that, you know, you feel like this person's not going to really change their behavior. I just feel like you're, you know, I just feel like you feel like this person's just going to keep playing around. Uh, five of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Three of Cups here. Uh, yeah, perhaps, you know, you know, if this is a third party situation, you know, I feel like you might be taking yourself out of this equation. You know, this this queen might be trying to reunite with you too, but you know what? I feel like you're just going to be like, oh, no. Four of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you're in this energy of, you know, no, not basically not, uh, you're no longer holding on to someone here. Uh, that's not thinking of you or wanting to be with you, um, you know, keeping you as an option, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Ten of Wands here. There's this energy of releasing. This King is going to release this. This King is going to release this idea of being in a relationship with this Queen slash Empress. That's your energy right there with the King of Pentacles, uh, Virgo. So, like I said, I feel like this King is you. Um, outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding your love situation for um, January 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Virgo. This hangman keeps coming up. Three of Pentacles. Um... You know, it could be an indication that you feel like this relationship is not going anywhere. You know, I feel like at this point, maybe neither of you guys might be taking action here. Um, you know, this queen wants to, but with the moon here, maybe this queen is fearful of coming forward. Oh. All right, we have the fool here and the three of pentacles. We have the fool here again. So we have the fool showing up again. Let's see. And the Queen of Wands and then the Queen of Pentacles. We have some pairs here, you guys. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. And a King of Wands here. You know, I feel like this King is looking for someone who, who's really mature. Um, you know, this King is looking for someone here who doesn't talk a lot of BS and actually backs it up with their action here. Um... Yeah, it's like a situation where, you know, you just don't want to hold on to someone here that is unsure about you, basically. Hangman? Why is the hangman here? We have the magician, Gemini energy, Virgo energy here. Six of Pentacles here. You know, I feel like throughout this whole situation, I feel like you remained really peaceful, under control. I feel like you didn't lose it on this person when you should have. Um, but I, I, I just feel like you're you are angry about this. But I, I just feel like you still remained pretty much under control. Uh, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Yeah, perhaps you're going to explore other options here or move on to other options. The Fool, the Four of Wands here. I feel like you're going to look for this somewhere else. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You know, we have a queen, so we have the, we, we, we saw that king of cups on the bottom of the deck there, and now we have this queen of cups. We have a lot of pairs, by the way. Um, this queen might not give up on this so easily. S 
So as soon as you leave the building here, that's when they become sure. But how do you know they're for sure, though? I mean, it shouldn't turn into something like that where, you know, someone has to leave in order for them to be sure that they want to be with you. We have the fool here again. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. The thing is, I feel like the way the reason why this person's behaving like this because is this per, this person's hurt themselves. Yeah, this person th has negative thoughts. Maybe this person's in fight or flight response. Maybe this person's doing this because you know um, they don't want to. They don't want to get hurt uh, by you, so they hurt you first. Uh, you know, in order for them to maybe. You know, it's a fight or flight response. It makes them feel better about, you know, their, their own insecurities. So, Virgo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye, Virgo.